Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mindset Channel here on our TW WWE Save. I have noticed a big issue. If we go to Major Stars, we have Becky Lynch, who is in the women's division. Brock Lesnar, a part-timer. Edge, a part-timer. Goldberg, a part-timer. John Cena is not even here. Mr. McMahon is not even a wrestler. Randy Orton. Roman Reigns. Undertaker, a part-timer, and Triple H is a part-timer. That means Roman Reigns, Randy Orton are the only men that are full-timers. Brock, I think I can make Brock a full-timer. But right now, where he is, I, I like it. I don't know if his contract... Yeah, so he doesn't have any restrictions on his contract as in, like, how many matches he can have. Goldberg has... Three appearances left. I'm hoping I can extend his contract when it's done um, and make him a full-time guy. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, you know, make these guys full contracts with no, like, appearance limit. And then I'll still make them part-timers, which will help us a little bit. But ultimately, we need some stars. And... Here's our star section, AJ, who's not, you know, he's on the decline. Big E, he's a star. Bobby Lashley would be a great star. And sure, players in the women's division, Drew McIntyre, Rey Mysterio, Seth Rollins. So we got some good players, but with this brand split, it's really killing us. We don't have enough people. Well-known's kind of where we have, like, the, the most amount of people. Um... Could I get Booker T to wrestle? <laughs> that might help us a little bit. No, he doesn't want to do it. So never mind that. So. Man, I, it's really struggling. So I think what I got to do. Is. Get a little notebook here. And I got to write down. I didn't, I didn't actually prepare for this. So I'm going to I'm going to do it now. We're going to decide on who is going to be our stars for the future cuz we got to start building people up. Because WWE I feel like is not in a great position when it comes to their stars. Um so what I'm looking for is younger people who I think can be a star in the future. Damian Priest is almost 40. Damn, I thought he was young. Okay, so, man, that is crazy. So who is even a young person, younger, that's close to being a star? I There's some older people here in WWE. I didn't even, you know, I never even, like, put that together. So, yeah, I mean, this is an issue. Because, like, I'm looking for, like, you know, people around that 30 mark. Even Alexa Bliss is 30. Um, so, obviously, Alexa Bliss will be good for the women's division. But I got to find... I'm going to keep going down and looking for people here. So, Angel Garza. He's definitely, he's definitely a good one. Angelo Dawkins. I don't think so. Austin Theory is definitely a future star. Um, I'm going to keep a note for Chad Gable. I got to push Chad Gable better. Um, obviously Dominic Mysterio. I need to push Elias more. I think I have used him just kind of in off, an off match. Yeah. So I actually got to use Elias more. I think he's got, I mean, he's got the charisma and everything to make him a star. Gable Stevenson will be able to use him in five months. So hopefully I can start pushing him soon. His stats are okay. Um, I think plan you know this is down in the future maybe we book him against brock lesnar um i don't think sending him nxt can i even send him to nxt no so he won't want to go to nxt so i think maybe brock lesnar would be a good person for him but that's you know way down the line how old's the viking raiders so they're 37 well at least ivar is Forgot I got Kyle O'Reilly back, but I, I, so a lot of people like him, I got to make Kyle O'Reilly a star right now 
because I mean he's a star, but we got to make him a WWE star. And so I think those someone like that is who I'm going to be really pushing right now. Mace, he's he's young. I feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to try to get him. You know, to push him a little bit more. Ma uh, Mansoor. Now obviously these guys, you know, this is not really looking at their skills, I guess. It's more of just seeing who are our young people that we can work with because we got to get we got to get a group of people up to the you know, up to a level where once a lot of our guys start retiring, which could happen soon or at least them decreasing, we have another set of people coming up and we don't lose our like we just don't lose talent where we have this gap of all of our stars gone and and people I need people I can trust to like have matches with top stars at least to make the top stars look better than just fighting random low lower card people Omos he, he's a one trick pony uh, he does the giant stuff but he's I mean he's got uh, 82 star quality he's got a 92 menace so he's got the look so we gotta work off of that Pat McAfee can I can get him to wrestle more can't I yeah so Pat McAfee I think I gotta do I gotta have him be a wrestler instead of a commentator which I know he's really good at it and maybe I could have him wrestle on Brawl or just have him like kind of appear on SmackDown every once in a while just to get some matches in. Reggie? Maybe. I'll, I'll keep him on the list. Uh, I push Ricochet. Ricochet is one of those guys that needs to be a star right now. And that's honest. That's it. That's the bottom of the list. So on this list I got for people in the future. I got Andrew Garza, Austin Theory, Dominic Mysterio, Mace. Mansoor, Omas, Pat McAfee, and Reggie. And even Pat, I think more he's more of a star right now kind of guy. But then I got Elias, Kyle O'Reilly. They're two people that I think I could push now. And like Kyle O'Reilly, he's kind of got the style that we need right now. And I think that's what WWE lacks is definitely the smaller guys that's kind of dominating AEW right now. And I'm not trying to copy AEW, because obviously I appreciate more of the bigger wrestlers. But I think Kyle Riley is a... He would be good for a kind of new era of WWE, especially one that Triple H runs. He needs some NXT guys to... To run it, I guess. You know, to help him paint that image. We have some people. I want to get it out of NXT. Tomasa Champa. He's 36 years old. So I'm going to prepare him to recall because he is the NXT champion. But we need... We need, again, another NXT guy of the, you know, the black and gold NXT to help shape this new look WWE. And also... He has the talent that I want for this new look. So we're going to go kind of just go through NXT again. I know I've done it a few times already. But I need to find... I need to find someone that stands out to me. But I know there's not a lot of those in NXT now. Timothy Thatcher. He's not doing much in NXT. And he is, he's at the age that he's got to be kind of pushed now. We can't just keep him in developmental. Because he's, I mean, he's, I think he's developed. I think now we just got to get him into sports entertainment. Which hopefully we can kind of change that to have some more unique styles. Um, I want to keep some of these newer guys in NXT for a little bit. Like Hammerstone, who's never been in the WWE system. Um, same thing with Calvin Tankman. Chris Saban, I know, I just put him there. 
but I think I gotta I think I gotta get Chris Saban on the roster because I don't know if I mentioned but I did I guess I want to make a good um, lightweight division and he's that and maybe he can help he can help develop some younger lightweights to you know to make them what we want uh, to develop them and make a good division in the future. Dexter Loomis. I don't really got a use for him. I'm going to keep him down there. I don't know too much about him. I just know that a lot of people do like him. Maybe in the future. Dragonov. I got I'm going to keep him there, but he's I mean he is like top champion contender. Maybe I just do it. Cuz I need I need someone like him with his skills. The only problem is he's not very experienced in America. But let's do it. Let's let's just go crazy. We got Cuz I'm thinking after WrestleMania we're going to have some big changes happen kind of art like by our decisions and kind of just people naturally devolving. Because we're probably by the end of the month we're going to get that big drop of retirements and everything like that that normally happens in the beginning of a TW save. So I need to think about that. And again, everyone's getting older. And he's got the skills. Um, LA Knight. I mean, I think I got to... I'm After booking two shows... Just holding guys in NXT doesn't even make sense to me because we need people so bad and we don't, we just, we just need people so bad that we can't wait for them to, you know, get used to the WWE system down in NXT, which just build, let's build our system around these people, you know, around our stars and we're going to. Probably have some tough spots, but I'm not going to push these guys crazy right from the beginning. They're just going to be in the mix um, until WrestleMania, at least at least as of now. Obviously, a, something could pop off with them, and I do a big storyline with them. Rex Steiner. Is he any matches? Dad won against Reggie. Oh, on Raw. I forgot I booked him on Raw. But I remember that I... Want to just keep him down there and kind of book him on shows off and on. Roger Strong. Let's bring him up once again. He's getting old. We need to, we just need to book him. Um, I'm not. So I think we've gone through the list. So I decided... That I'm going to offer Alex Shelley a contract because I want to have the Motor City Machine Guns be kind of be a tag team in our um, be, be a tag team in our tag team division because it is awful and we need actual tag teams and obviously we have Chris Saban already so let's offer him a two-year contract. He wants a higher contract, so we'll give it to him. Yeah, he doesn't want to be on a lot. So we're going to use, I think we're going to use Chris Saban a little more, because Chris Saban, I think, is, don't think he has any, if I remember correctly, he's okay being on every show. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if he performs better or not. Um, but we do need that tag team. And so i got to keep that in mind going forward, because our tag teams are awful. So let's let's look in the USA and let's sort by popularity. Let's go let's go fifty. We'll go kind of crazy and see see fifty there. And just kind of find people from the Indies to use as stars. We got Adam Cole. Not now. Um, I like Adam Cole a lot, but I want to avoid completely using AW people that are available. 
I don't feel like I, I, I feel like it's kind of cheating to kind of use people from AW too much. I know I got some, but Adam Cole, I think is one of the top guys, so I don't want to use him. Um, we got Braun Strowman. I'll come back to him. I mean, he's, I mean, he's popular though. He, let's do it. Let's bring Braun Strowman in. We can make him an attack. Oh, he wants a lot of money. It is the WWE, though. We'll come back to it. I know, I know it's WWE, so money's not a major issue, but that's a lot of money for someone I just kind of want to throw in a tag team. Um, Lita, in this save, she's not back. I'm going to see if I can make her wrestle again, though. No, she's not. So I can't bring Lita back. Andrade, same thing with him. I don't want to bring him back right away. Um, Angel Darkins has a pretty high popularity. Bad Bunny. Did I fire him? No, I guess I didn't. I guess he's just not appeared. I don't want Bad Bunny. He's probably expensive. Yeah, he's he's more than Ron Strowman, which makes sense, I guess. Blue Demon Jr. That's kind of cool. He's not popular in in the U.S. though. I guess I didn't sort that right, but we'll we'll manage. Um, Bret Hart. Does Bret Hart want to wrestle? No, he doesn't want to wrestle. <laughs> we could bring Buddy Murphy back for our lightweight division. Let's do it. I know I'm. I know I'm kind of going off of what. What does Alexa Bliss say about him? Does she not want him to be hired? Oh crap! I keep clicking off of it. Oh, she. she She's okay with that. So let's let's hire him back. We'll do two years. Man, he wants a lot of money too. That's okay. We'll worry about money and in, in, down the line. I know that's not a good thing to say, but Cain Velasquez. He's got really high stats. Only twenty-two compared to. That's not bad. 23. I know I said before I didn't want to sign, you know, just everybody, but we got to get stars. Danny DeVito. Batista. Do we will he wrestle? No, that's unfortunate. I would love to have Batista wrestle for us. Dr. Wagner's not that popular. Let's bring back Johnny Gargano. I know in real life I don't think he'd want to come back, but you know this is Triple H's WWE, so let's see if he will come back to us and we'll offer him a three-year deal. Oh, he's actually got an offer right now from MLW, but he can go to MLW too and work for us, so that's not bad.
we get Junior uh, Dos Santos, and we could have an MMA division. I know it sounds kind of crazy, and we're just literally firing everybody. But I think if we find out that people don't fit, we can just fire them. I know that's what WWE does now, but the thing is we got the money to just do it. So let's get people, see how it goes, and then we know who we have, you know, after WrestleMania. And I know we could offer them short contracts, but just in case. Okay, so I just convinced Kurt Angle to come out of retirement. So we're going to offer him a contract. I mean, he can still, I mean, he can still wrestle. So he's going to be another guy that, you know, we can't, we're not going to rely on to be a big star, but we can use his popularity right now to get some other people over. He's got some, he's got contract offer too from Ring of Honor. In New Japan America. No one's offering him exclusives, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, wow. Logan Paul is so popular. I kind of have to offer him a contract. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this. Let's offer him a per show deal. Because just of his popularity, I, I need his popularity. He's an occasional wrestler, so I'm probably... <laughs> oh, this, is, this might be a mess. But I am desperate to build stars... And this, I think, is going to help with that. And I can't believe I just signed Logan Paul <laughs> to my wrestling company. But I guess WWE is doing it in real life, so we're following their uh, their lead on that one. So for tag teams, I know I didn't want it. Oh, shoot. So I didn't want to take a lot from AW. But I think we're going to take... Um... Man, I forgot their name. Lucha Bros. Does that make sense? <laughs> what is their dang name? Yeah, Lucha Brothers. I don't know why I was so... That didn't sound right to me. We're going to take the Lucha Brothers. Because they're a developed tag team. We're off of them two-year contract. So let's get Penta and... Is it Ray Phoenix? Is that what he goes by? Yep. So Ray Phoenix...
All right, guys. All right, guys, hear me out. We got to get Shaq. I mean, we all, at the end of the day, we are WWE. And I think a Shaq versus Logan Paul match would get a lot of views. <laughs> I didn't say this was going to be... I just didn't, I didn't promise anything. <laughs> this could be a really good decision or a really bad decision. We're just going for it. Because I want to, I just want to see it happen. Now what is Snoop Dogg's color commentary ability? He's got none. Unfortunately, he's got none. <laughs> Can I get Stone Cold back out of retirement? Nope. I'm telling you guys, I'm desperate. I got to book some people that are good because... Basically, I want really expensive jobbers is my goal here right now. Guys... The Rock's got another run in him. Oh, that made me so excited. <laughs> Let's get... Exclusive contract on him because I don't want him going anywhere. Okay, so he only wants to work events. I don't... I kind of am okay with that, but... Can I offer you... More money. Because the only reason I don't like that is because of... I want him to be able to do angles. Let's offer you $400,000. Okay, and I'm just realizing I should probably do per show because he's going to be pretty expensive. And if he's only doing events, we'll do that. So we'll offer him $23,000 per, uh, per show. And you decrease the amount. Let's do... This might be a lot, but let's just do 30. You know, let's take 30. So let's get Shaq. Almost said Shaq. Let's get The Rock. Um, So that is the end of our list, and I think we got some interesting people already that we, you know, at least offered contracts to. So I don't think I have a really big issue with who we got, like, who we got. And I don't think I really need to go through more. Um, so I think... I think that's all we really need to do for contracts offerings. Just, I think we need to focus on making the people we have stars. And if we get a lot of those people signed that I offered contracts to, I hope, you know, I just hope that we can end up making them stars. I mean, we got people with high popularity, so we just got to make sure we use them right. And I am so ex I hope The Rock signs with us because I will. I have some great things planned for him. And we're just making Heath back into Heath Slater while we're, you know, while I'm clicking through the roster here.
we are going to sim through um, probably until Raw. Because I don't want to book Raw in this episode since this is already going to be, you know, a, a decently long episode. Um, this is going to be just a management episode. But we're going to sim through a few days, book main event, and... Well, I guess we won't book main event because that will be under Raw. So we're going to sim through today, tomorrow, and then so we'll stop on Monday and hopefully at least some people will sign with us. Big fudge. So it's Monday. We don't have any... We don't have any signings. Which is kind of expected because we had some big... We offered some big people contracts. Um, but as of now, nobody has, no, nobody has offered any contracts other than Kurt Angle had Ring of Honor and New Japan of America. So I'm not worried. Um, hopefully we can get them in, but we're not really in a hurry. Um, probably the, my biggest plans with these guys will be WrestleMania. And so we got time to get them ready for WrestleMania. But in the headlines, New Japan is angry with everybody. At least with us, I guess. Um, so they're hostile with uh, NXT UK, NXT, and us, WWE. Um, so looks like we got to watch them, but I don't think they're really going to be taking anyone from us. We'll see. I mean, we'll... We'll try to fight them, but I don't really want anyone from there, so we're not not too worried, but we'll keep an eye on them. Um, Rev, Rev, oh my god, Rev Pro and New Japan um, split. Doesn't really bother me. Um, but I guess that's, that's it. Um, just going through and checking out our stars. Um, I thought it needed to be done after... Um, after I realized that we are so short on stars. So that's our, that's our goal. Keep building up people. Because we need to get people built up for, um, post-WrestleMania. Because that's, like I've been saying, that's kind of when the new era is going to truly start. But let's get, um, Chris Saban a gimmick here. Um, I don't know what would be a good gimmick for him. He is, he's a heel. So let's get him a heel gimmick here. So he can't play dominant or badass style. Um, adrenaline junkie kind of seems right for him. Sure. Um, Something about a veteran, maybe, because he's going to be kind of a... No, there's nothing there. There's bitter veteran, but I don't think that's kind of what we want for him. Maybe it is. But I think we'll be kind of simple and do adrenaline junkie. I'm not... When it comes to TW, gimmicks are not something I really, I guess, understand. Um... But it fits him, so we'll do that. That's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, more videos are going to be coming soon. We're going to be booking Raw here next. And big things big things are coming if we get all these people. Um, so we just got to keep pushing our stars. But anyways, you know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next